Hello, in this video I'd like to show you what Move Solve in Smart Magnetry Helpers panel does. It's this button here next to IK Cleanup in the default layout. We need to have one effector selected to be able to invoke the Move command. With this one effector selected, if I press the button, what happened was the whole figure was moved to this effector. If I select this one and go move, the figure goes there. If I select this one, it will just go there. And if I select this one, it will go there. That means that the magnet target inside the corresponding element will snap to its uh, effector. We can also invoke move by selecting any of the elements of an IK chain. So if I select this element, it defines this IK chain and press move, we'll get the same result. So it doesn't really matter whether we select the effector or one element in the chain, it will still work exactly the same. This is very handy if our controller's layer is locked. Say we, we would like to use those controllers as pins for pinned feet. In this case, we can't really select the controller, but we can select one of the elements and use it as a selection to invoke the move command. Now, what is the difference between this type of movement and the reverse snapping with smart magnet joint when we have a, an effector selected. Because if I select an effector now and go control tilde, the result will be visually exactly the same. To demonstrate what the difference is, I need to move some elements away from their magnet targets. Or let's say we have moved just because we wanted to convey a little bit of a rotation or something we have moved our arms and legs just slightly away from the magnet targets now with move from smart magnetry helpers panel these relative positions will be maintained so it literally moves the whole character without changing anything in the pose while if I trigger the inverse snapping with smart magnet joint, you will see the figure will fully reassemble. So that's the difference. If you don't want full snap, you use move. Now let's uh, show you what the other command solve does. So move works with either an effector as an initial selection or one of the elements in an IK chain. While solve needs uh, a reverse IK element. So it will be either this upper torso or the master parent. If I select the master parent and press the button, we'll have a, a solve operation, which will literally solve all the IK chains. Now the result is this. All the IK chains that branch out from the selected element were solved based on the position of the uh, effectors. If I undo and select the upper torso, only the arms will be solved because uh, feet stem out of the master parent. Well, this is one level higher than this. Okay. And now I'd like to just give you the practical application of the knowledge, how we actually use move and solve. So imagine we have this character and we would like to have the feet pinned to the ground. First of all, I will separate the controllers of the feet and those uh, for the arms. So I'll cut these and I will create another layer on top of it, paste them here and make sure that this upper layer is also called Smart Magnetry Controllers so that we have two controllers layers and I will lock this one that has the feed controllers and I will make sure that this uh, one is guided as well. Okay, so now I can't accidentally move 
the controllers for the feet so they will always stay in place i'll add a keyframe and with the kineflex tool i will shift drag the torso down to have a bit of a squat i'll probably change the angle a little bit and go like like this so now when we have the squatted pose i would like to make him stand really well and, and see now it's very difficult to know exactly where to stop the foot's already above the controller while the other one is still a little a little bit so let's let's say okay i want the legs to be fully stretched i will change the angle i'll change the angle somehow to get a pose that i'm somehow happy with and then i say okay this will be my next pose now i can choose this element and go move and the whole figure will snap to this controller so this left foot will stay perfectly in place what about this other foot though now it's uh it's dug in the ground because we overstretched going upward so now solve comes into place you click the torso and then you solve the chains and by doing so we now have our poses we have the squat and then we have the other pose and the feet stay perfectly pinned on the ground now let me let me hide this and let's just let me just go for some some kind of a pose so let's say that we're happy with this pose and this is how you can apply move and solve to make sure that uh, the feet always stay in place if you by chance just drag the character a bit too high you can always snap it back and then solve the ik chains for the other leg just like this i hope that this has been helpful and you will make good use of move solve in smart magnetry helpers thanks for watching